What up, Floss Tube? Hi, guys. Cassandra is I'm no care in the world. YOLO. Just looking at yeah. my... <laughs> My big man. I'm like, hold on, don't start it. She's like, sorry. Like, Screw you. Do this thing. Okay. Floss tube. Real quick before we start. What is that? I'm going to show you a who delicious are we first? cocktail. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we just, can we tell them who we are? Let's sure. Tell them who we are. Sure. Who are you? Not that they'll probably care, but. I wouldn't. <laughs> we collectively, with our powers combined, are Autumn do Lane Stitchery. Autumn Lane Stitchery. I do nothing, you guys. As you've heard, if you've watched our previous videos, I, I do nothing. Yeah, if you're new I'm here. I'm going to silence my phone. This is Cassandra Houston. And this is Aaron, the, the handsome, oh. and he is all the talent. I just wench at him, and he changes things if I wench a lot. I like that lot. you say that because that's true. It, it's true, but it's it so always true. makes it better, though. It does always make it better. It always makes it better. When I, I listen. When he listens, <laughs> and he does, because he knows he'll, uh, yeah. Um, oh, so anyways, yeah, awesome. he's all the talent. I am all the wench and, um, the beauty and the brains actually. Mm. It's, a, it's a together Are you thing. the beauty and I'm the brains? I don't want to say Because it would that, be like yes. the beauty. Oh, well, I'm not pretty. Whatever. Oh, stop. I, we're, Look it's you like. you try to be humble. Get out of here. Knock it off. I am humble. Nobody's I have no talent. That. I have no talent. Nobody's No talent that. here. No talent. So I know how to put on some makeup, and that's about it. That's it. We're that's my fight. only artistry. Right out, right out if you saw what this fight. looked like before the makeup, you'd be like, "Wow, she it. should be a famous uh, uh, makeup stylist." Okay, but I'm gonna show you. I'm also apparently a cocktail waitress. So that's us. Um, that's us, and mm -hmm. we're Autumn Lane Stitchery, by the way. I said that. I oh, just, I want Diane. Before so bad. you do this that, this is why I'm trying to mix this. Look cocktail. at our sweet background. Listen, you got to mix it up. You have to mix it up. I can you decorate. You the same old boring background. Yeah. By the way, the banner, I'm going to call us out. Yeah, I don't, you never said anything and nobody mentioned it, but that banner was crooked last, in the last video. The last video was... And I was like, was it drove me nuts. I didn't care. The whole time I was like editing. <laughs> it's because you have like, OCD. Is... I didn't care. <laughs> Care. Probably nobody cares. Just though, like so he's anyway. walking around the house. He's like, it's so dirty. Are you going to clean? I'm like, no. <laughs> you clean. I'm like, but you can. So Dude, facts. I come down the stairs and he's all vacuuming. <laughs> Ladies, if you want your men to decorate or, whoa, clean. Whoa. All mm -hmm. you have to do is just not clean and then they'll do it. Eventually they they'll get done. Eventually, they'll just do it. The way. house elf will eventually do it. Yes, as long as you don't give them a sock. Okay, I really okay. need Diet Coke. But look at our, look at your oh, sweet decorating. I just want Diet Coke so bad. P.S. This is a little bit of spring decorating. A little bit. Of you spring. guys, we had the Christmas decorations up until my about cute a couple weeks buddies. ago. My little Easter Don't tell anybody. Aren't they cute? They are. I love my so, buddy. Yeah, well, that's our background. Okay, so anyway. um, real quickly, okay, she's going to show you how to though. concoct. I need something to stick this egg in. It's bugging me. Look at this egg. Okay, I tried it's to set you up for the okay. concoction. And so because of the coronavirus, I can't go get a, a refill anymore at the they Coke station. They don't even station. let you get an actual Coke An anymore. actual Coke. You can't get fountain. So I'm going to show fountain. you a, a treat here. And you can listen to me if you want. P.S. What? This is, I'm looking like I'm looking off to the side because I'm looking at me talking. Well, because you like but to look at yourself. But the camera's over here. No, but I feel like if I'm not looking at somebody, I guess I could look at you, but then I just couldn't contain myself because you're a handsome man. So I got to look at me. So if you're like, why is she looking there? Oh, it's because I'm looking at me on the camera because I feel weird looking at nothing. All right. This is. Okay. Here's a little treat. This is Cassandra's Dirty Tangent. Diet Coke, but this is like everywhere in Utah. Okay. First step, lemon wedge. <laughs> lime. Psych, lime wedge. My God. Second step. This is amazing already. I just need Diet Coke so bad because yeah. normally I get my 100 ounce. Okay, this is called a dirty Diet Coke. You yeah. can use more lime, but I'm not a fan. What do you got to do? How, how much do you fill the Coke I don't, in the soda? I don't know. Till is it's full because I want a, some. No. Coke to no. No. the cream ratio? No. All right. Okay, this is like, okay, so some people just like the lime. Yeah. Some people don't want the lime. Mm -hmm. This is warm as pee, so it's taken a little bit. Okay, and then the last step. What's the last step? Tell them. This is the money maker. Yeah, it is. Coconut cream coffee creamer. Okay, you guys, 
Oh, if, jinx. if you're not into the coconut creamer, mm -hmm. you can use coconut like Tarani, the Tarani syrups. The old pump action. The old pump action. Mm -hmm. Ready? What do you like better, this, did you say? Coconut cream. I wasn't listening to you. Don't spill them on the table. I won't. If you don't mind. I won't. Jeez. That's it. And. And there you go. We've got a dirty Diet Coke. How does it taste? It tastes like Hawaii. Tastes like the beach. It tastes like the beach in it Hawaii. It tastes like sand. The reason why I have to add a little lime and I do the coconut cream is because if you do the regular coconut in the Tarani bottle, uh -huh. it tastes like if you were at the beach and you applied sunscreen yeah. and then you opened up your Coke bottle and you drank it. I love that. And it tastes like sunscreen if you just use Who it without the Who doesn't love the smell lime. of sunscreen? She doesn't. I think it's amazing. I hate sunscreen. When you're thinking of uh, the beach okay. and amazingness, sunscreen is the uh -huh. smell you think I of. I think of you in your your dad swim shorts. <laughs> What's your regular swim shorts, by they're the way? Like they're like something that dinner. like an old <laughs> dad with like 28 kids would wear. I hate his swimsuit. <laughs> and I'm going to call him out. I feel it's like terrible. I have 28 kids. You only have four, but... What's the qualifications to wear dad swim trunks? I don't know, like but three you kids? got them. Guys, it's like I want him to wear some sexy, like, Hurley swim shorts or something. And he wears, oh my gosh. They're like, I think they're Nike swim trunks, dude. No, dog. Okay, <laughs> what are we starting with? Let's anyway. let's show some stash real so, quick, real, real quick, hey, real quick. Hey, maybe we should get the video started. Let's That's our intro. <laughs> this is why we get a lot of thumbs downs, because people are like, would these hookers just <laughs> stop talking? And actually show Shoot. stuff. <laughs> All right. Anyway. I am going to keep this away. Yeah, because do that. So. It looks like mud. So there's that. We're going to show off. There has been a, like a little movement going around. The Be Well and Stitch uh -huh. movement, which was amazing. And I wasn't going to do anything. I didn't originally plan to. I was just enjoying all the amazing uh, patterns that people were. Yes. So it's like the designers kind of giving away free designs for people to stitch while they're stuck inside. Yes. If they can't go to the cross stitch store. And also, I think, to kind of support uh, the CrossFit store. So if you, like, need supplies, yep. you order it from the store, and then kind of it just goes full circle. And for you guys who are cross-stitchers, we want to – well, we, Aaron, because <laughs> he's the guy who decided it. No, the cross-stitchers who were watching, we want to give you guys a free pattern. So we did the B – the B what? Show it. Be well and show stitch. It. So uh, Aaron designed a free pattern, Be Well and Stitch. I was going to show it later when we do the April one, but let's show it now. Yeah, we'll show it now. Well, you brought it up, so why wouldn't we show well, it? I was going to just say what we're kind of going over now that we're like 100 minutes in the Okay, so video. this is the layout of it now that we're 10 minutes in. We are first, <laughs> we have a giveaway, um, and then we have a, uh, I'm going to show my stash acquisition for the past week or two yeah. that I've acquired. Nice. <laughs> now that we have a Floss 2 video, I'm like, hey, Aaron, I need to buy something to show on our floss tube video he's like yeah yeah buy it i'm like oh my are you gosh. serious so yeah and then i'm gonna show our progress on um on the model i'm stitching which you guys have seen but last time we were uh we were um I asked for your guys' opinions on uh, what fabric I should do this mermaid on, and I will show you which one I chose. It was actually a little bit divided towards the end. Really, was it? Yeah. I thought for the most part it was all Leslie's fabric. Anyways, okay. No, a lot of people said the Joey too. Okay, okay so here, we go. here is uh, here's the freebie that we did. It's so which... free B? B. Oh, that's uh, how you should have said it. Free dash B. Ah, missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. So. It's just be well, so cute. just playing on the be well kind of uh, saying. Obviously, you got to create a cute little bee, yeah. and then a little uh, honeycomb. Yeah, a little right honeycomb. Here. Then he has a little bucket of honey I in love there, that. and it's all coming out. Yeah, it's like he's drawing. Look at his some. path, though. His path is creating a heart in the middle of be well. It. Uh, it is Where can you find free. It? You can get it on our Facebook page. Okay. So okay. if you're not a member of our Facebook page, well, you you go you forth and go join. You can, but it's also on our actual business page. So you can just go oh. to the business page, Autumn Stitchery on Facebook. Like our business page it. and then download oh, it. Yeah. Like Do it first that. and then download it. That would be amazing. Or share. And look. Let's oh, do, let's go. do, you know, he apparently is not humble and created this pattern for you that he thinks hey, is like amazing. You want to see the sketch? Yeah. Here's, oh yeah, let's show, that's cool. 
So here's his so sketch here's of it. So I woke up. I wasn't originally intending on doing it. I woke up like, um, what was what it, Monday? And I was like, I don't know. I want to make I don't even know what day this. it is. So I just started sketching uh, after I woke up. And this is what I came up with. So this is the sketch I, I really sketch cute. originally. Like I do most of my sketches either in Photoshop or Procreate on the iPad. So that's uh, so that was the sketch, and then I'll uh, finish it in. Uh, I work in PC Stitch, is my cross stitch program of choice. Can we call it Noob Create? What? Noob Create? What are you talking about? Like Procreate Noob oh, Create? So... Whatever. He doesn't get my joke, apparently. Dude! No! Not Crash and Burn joke is my joke! No! No! Yes! No! <laughs> Payback for no. the last time. No. So anyway, so you can get that on our Facebook page. So I think that is amazing. And yeah, I mean, obviously everybody does too, but I think it's really cool that uh, the designers are kind of collectively just yeah. kind of coming out with freebies, giving away to the community. So it's awesome. Yeah. So, so that the... you guys have, for those of you who are quarantined, you guys have something to yeah. do it's awesome. and uh, you know, you can get it for free. So, but yes, if anyway, you guys want to so pay one. it forward, um, go to our business page, obviously download it for yourself. Well, and if you too. feel the love to share, share like our business page and share share it with your friends share yeah. it on your page free. and um it's free yeah eventually and, i'll yeah. have a pdf somebody on instagram was like hey because on instagram so it's smaller yeah and they're like i can't really download it so i directed her towards the facebook page but once the website up is up i'll have a pdf on the website of it so you can yeah. download that it's a little bit bigger so. also we are ha we have a new pattern to show you guys also yes we do uh he keeps cutting me off he loves to talk apparently. He loves to hear his voice. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Just, I'll be quiet. For the rest of the no, I'm just saying, he, pu pull up your schedule. I'm so like, that. Eh. He's like, what are we going to talk about? I was like, I don't, I don't know. We'll just talk. And he's like, I'm going to write a schedule down. So no. pull up your schedule. I write a couple notes that what I think we should talk about. And not that everybody's like Cassandra. Y'all, we can't just start the Good video thing, and just because talk that'd for be like terrible. three hours. That'd be the worst. I have to prepare. One's to already way too much. Mentally prepare myself. <laughs> well, what should we show first? Am I going to show the stash acquisition first this week? Sure. Sure. Okay, I'm going to pull we'll up. we'll show what you're working on. Okay. We'll show them the, the mermaid. Okay. So, <clears throat> my first thing, staff, a st staff, staff acquisition. Okay. So, let me tell you. <laughs> Um, first off, years ago, I bought, uh, from an Excuse Etsy me, seller. Hi, what I'm would sorry you like to, to say? You off. I apologize. Thank for you. I just, I wanted to cut you off to apologize for cutting you off, but I do apologize. I don't mean to cut you off. I have no idea what's happening. Okay. <laughs> so, um, this is, uh, if you guys know, uh, Clay by Kim, she's on Etsy. It's impossible to get anything anymore. Um, which really makes me sad because I loved her stuff and, but it's like, I don't even try anymore. And it just leaves like such a sour taste in my mouth that I can't get her stuff anymore. Cause I love her stuff. I have a lot of it actually. Purple, Although purple, I don't purple. have, it's fine. It's anti-shake. I don't have, I have a ton of the tins, like a ton, like probably 40 tins. Um, but the needle miners, I had probably 15 of them and my, our last dog chewed them up. So I maybe have five or six of the needle miners and I really love the needle miners. I love Kim stuff and I just can't get it anymore. So I, it, it makes me angry. Um, so I actually had my one thing I never got was, um, Easter stuff. And you can tell, I love Easter. I love the bunnies, although I'd never have one. They are creepy. I love bunnies, but they are terrifying. I have a freaking 120 pound great Dane. He's probably 110 pounds. We're not showing that yet. I know. It's I'm not time yet. Oh, okay. Don't rush me. God, um, so anyways, I my saddest thing was she had this Easter basket needle minder that I wanted so bad. And back like two years ago when I could still get this stuff because she wasn't everywhere. People didn't know about her. Um, I had asked her, I was like, are you going to make these? She's like, oh, well, Easter's like a week away. I'm not going to do it. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm waiting for when you do. And she has never done any Easter stuff since I've not seen it since. And so anyways, my amazing friend, um, Julie, she leaves, lives in Canada. Julie, Julie, do the thing. Um, anyways, 
at the last retreat done by Leslie, um, the last Mirabilia retreat, which now it's the Stitching Sirens retreat, Leslie from Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, last year, she <clears> knew <throat> how bad I wanted these mermaids because it was actually Julie who initially told me about Clay by Kim. And um, she actually gave me um, this little, this little bunny. Is. And she gave me the matching tin, and she probably could have sold it on Etsy, or, uh, eBay now for like 200 bucks. Kim's stuff is going ridiculously crazy now, which really nice. makes me sad. I love her stuff so much, but to love something so much and to n literally never be able to get it is infuriating. It drives me nuts. I love Kim. Her Show talent, again, real quick. Her talent is awesome. incredible. Like Kim is so talented, and I really wish that she wasn't. A little egg on there ridiculously yeah. popular anymore because Adorable. I can't get her stuff and I really want it and it, honestly it breaks my heart. Okay, so what I've done in the meantime is I've kind of scoured Etsy for another clay person. I'm telling you, Kim's stuff, you guys, which like I said, I probably have 40 tins. I, I'll do, I can do a live uh, or a floss tube video later showing you Kim's Some stuff tins. that I have. You guys, Kim's stuff is so amazing. But like I said, it like breaks my heart that I can't get it. I can't, I, you literally cannot get her stuff anymore. Um, and it really makes me sad because I, I worship it. So anyways, I found another <clears throat> girl on Etsy who actually doesn't really go as needle minders. So, you know, I used to make needle minders and I still do. It's still on our shop. She wasn't necessarily, and I am going to kick myself for even mentioning her. And I told her initially, I'm like, I really don't want to mention you because I feel like you're my, you're my find. Secret? My secret <laughs> find. Hidden gem. Yeah. So her name is uh, Evelyn's Crafts, like Evelyn's and then Crafts with a Z at the end. Show them that. I mean, that way okay, I'll show shot. you what she looks like. Um, Evelyn's Crafts. That doesn't really show you much on Etsy. That's right. Okay. So her stuff is, it is more expensive than Kim's. And not everything comes in the form of a needle minder. But because, again, I make I make needle minders, I just turned her stuff into needle minders for myself. Um, so she doesn't mass, not mass produce, but she doesn't, like, produce a bunch of her stuff. Um, like, she only has... Uh, not only, but she has 141 sales on um, Etsy, whereas like Clay by Kim has, I think at this point, like 20,000. Um, so she doesn't mass produce a lot of her stuff, but her stuff, you guys. It just takes a lot longer to do it. Yeah, because she, okay. They're more one of a kind okay. deals, right? So yeah, but yeah, they're like more one of a kind things. So they are more pricey. <clears throat> Um, but okay. So this chick didn't actually come in the form of a needle minder. I made her into a needle minder, um, because I want to use my magnets though. I did tell her, I was like, look, I'm going to start making your stuff that I buy from you into needle minders for myself. Um, get ready to pee your pants because this is the cutest thing you're ever going to see. <laughs> Don't pee your pants. Okay. Let's see if I can focus on her though. Do you think we can get that closer? Okay, no. Uh, as you can uh, see, it's so. a little a girl in a little bathtub. And those are little bubbles. And she made this finish on the bath, super shiny. And she's this cute little pinup girl with her little, like, she's, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. You'll see that pretty good. Um, yeah, I just want it to be really, I yeah. wish it would focus. Yeah. Focus! Okay, so I bought this and I just turned it into a needle miner for myself. Um, so yeah, that's from Evelyn's Crafts. And then I kind of told her about, um, I was like, you know, I, I can't remember if I told her about Clay by Kim. You guys, I want to buy Clay by Kim stuff. I wish I could get some. If anybody has Clay by, I'm not kidding you. If anybody has Clay by Kim's um, <clears throat> Easter basket and you don't want it, I'll trade you literally every pattern <laughs> we have, PDF. Or uh, hard print, I'll trade you. Oh, dude, we can do that? I'll trade you. I will. I, I don't care. Or you just, you just, just get. I'm just what telling is it called? you. called? Carte blanche? I don't know. Just to do whatever you want? Dude, if anybody has Clay by Kim's uh, bunny basket, needle minder, I will literally give you every single one of our patterns. I love it. Bartering. If you give me <laughs> your Clay by Kim. I love you guys. I want Clay by Kim stuff. I love her stuff so much. Okay. Anyway, so then she actually did make this needle minder. This Evelyn's Crafts did make this needle minder. Um... And it's so cute. And it's just a little bunny basket, or a little bunny basket, a little Easter basket with you, eggs. You suggested or, she should start, right? 
Didn't you? No, or? she actually had stuff listed as like a fridge magnet. Mm. Oh, just as she as had stuff li listed as fridge magnets, and I honestly can't remember if I said you should make these into needle miners also. Or I told her about needle miners. I can't remember. She probably already knew. I'm not going to say that I told her about it. She probably already knew. Yeah. But she had this cute curious. little, um, just this little, actually, it's just a, a basket. Adorable. Or not though. a basket, a, a freaking nest with eggs. Yeah. And she put little sparkles on it. So, so awesome. I, I picked that one up too. And then she's so nice. She always kind of sends me extra things. Um, and she's like, I don't really know if you're into steampunk, but she, she sent me this little thing for free also with my stuff. And it's just this little, uh, like mushroom house steampunk what? thing. You can't see it. There's a little door on there. Yeah, there's it's a little door. door on there, but I will also do another YouTube video or with Boys. her. You guys, I have a bunch of her stuff. Like, like I said, it is a little bit more pricey because she doesn't, um, it's not kind of, but she's like an thing. actual artist, like, like. Look at this thing. She painted that, I assume. I mean, she painted that background. She has that cute little thing. And it was not a lot of her stuff can be made into needle minders. Like it like just like gaps yeah, or whatever. Yourself. Yeah. Um, but like I so I told you she's a little she's a little bit more pricey. These are $41 each. But they are legitimately the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I actually own, I bought this one and I should actually go show it to you. I should just go get her. I'm going to go get go her get real her. quick. Aaron, sit here and like do a dance or something. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys this again because this is super adorable. What are you showing them? The Easter bunny. Oh. This is amazing. Right? Look, at the, what the, look at the eggs on you there. You guys, Kim awesome. stuff. Oh my gosh. That's Anyways. Cool. Yeah, but Julie gave. Did I say that? Julie ended up giving me that and yes. the matching tin because she knew so. how bad I wanted the Easter stuff. Okay. Show them that. So... Look at this. So this is from Evelyn's Crafts again. Are you freaking kidding me? She's on this leaf and she has these little wings. And I think these wings, she painted these wings. Looks like she painted them. It's like a shiny foil. Yeah, type. it's like a shiny foil. Are you kidding me? Look how tiny this thing is. Look at this thing. So I haven't made it into a needle minder yet because it's uh, it, it doesn't have um, a flat back. Um, but are you kidding me? So Evelyn's craft. So, but I mean, like I said, they are more pricey. I've said that like 18 times. So like these fairies are $41 with free shipping. Amazing though. But it's like, here's the thing. I can't imagine how much work that took. I, like if you think about it, $41 for how hey. many hours this took hey. her is not a lot of money. Um, but oh, oh my God. gosh. Like oh, you, no. you, what you're not seeing too is it has little bubbles on there, like dew on the leaf Turn because oh. she was like, she's sleeping and there's kind of these bubbles all over from uh, dew, dew droplets on the leaf. So anyways, that's Evelyn's Crafts. And again, I told her, I'm like, I really don't want to tell people about you because I don't want to fight people um, for your stuff because it's going to be like another clay by Kim situation where I'm able to score and then completely it's, I think. I think it's been like a year and a half since I've been able to get anything from Kim. And it, again, it makes me sad. I, I, she's literally my favorite. I, wor I worship Kim stuff. I just want a buddy basket. Okay. So, that's so there's that. that. She's amazing. Yeah. So Evelyn, I don't even think her name's Evelyn. Well, it's Evelyn's crafts. Whatever. I guess it is. Um, so I got those things from Evelyn's crafts. And then, um, I only brought up Kim because she's my needle minder on my mermaid. Yes, son. Can I put you guys kids? Okay. Being home all day is fun. Is fun. Just put it that way. <laughs> okay. So I didn't know about this uh, hand dyer until Gina, uh, how, how, what's her last name? Fig, fig, figure, figuera. Um, she, uh, uh, she posted a mirabilia finish on one of this woman's fabrics. So I would never have known about her. And you guys, I am obsessed. So she's also on Etsy and her name is hand dyed by Rolanda. Um, and she's just on, like I said, on Etsy and she, every couple days posts a bunch of fabric and she does hand dyed threads as well. I'm not a hand dyed thread hoarder. Uh, like threads don't excite me at all. It's all about the fabric to me. So, uh, but I told her about our YouTube video or our philosophy video. And she's like, oh, I'll send you a freebie then. And you can give it away. And I was like, okay, that's great. So, so yeah. um, this is from, and she has her card in here. 
Um, this is from, so what do they have to do to get entered into That's a the good freebie? Question. You, you can, think about it while I show yeah, her well, fabric that well, I got. You'll have to answer a question. What are we going to ask them? So anyways, this is her uh, her little package of threads. And like I said, she she does hand dye threads as well. Um, and they're pretty. I just don't know why I don't. I'm not into like hoarding threads, but I'm into hoarding fabrics. So, so should we ask them what their guys. favorite type of floss to stitch with is? Is that a is that a thing? No. Or no. No. All right. That's a dumb I'll keep question. Thinking. That's a dumb question. <laughs> It's a really stupid question. Whoa! Okay, <laughs> this is my favorite. This may be my favorite fabric that I own. Right. Mine is two uh, sugar maple fabrics. So this is a Lugana, 28 count Lugana. Mm -hmm. And I just got this one. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? This one is so Are you kidding me? awesome in real life. Oh, are you kidding me? Would you look at that? And it's not, because Erin really, like I said, I have a problem buying fabric that is too busy and too aggressive. And me realizing that I can't buy, use a, a fabric that's too aggressive because it overpowers the cross stitch. But mm -hmm. this is not, this Facts. is actually very light, yeah. lightly model, or it's very light. The colors are very light. Um, you guys, this one's you kidding me? For like a spring design? Oh my gosh. Oh my God. The problem is, not that it's a problem, uh, everything so far that she's done is just kind of like solos. They're just kind of one, one singles. So, uh, like I told her, she's like, Oh, that'll be really pretty for your, for your models. And I'm like, oh, here's the problem. I'm like, if I do a model, um, for the exception of this and as much as possible, but I'm like, I, it makes it hard because if people can't get the same fabric, it, it's frustrating. Yeah. Just like I can't get freaking clay by kim stuff what about what about this do you find it a problem if say you did model stitch on we that? already asked that listen, question before listen it's not that listen linda <laughs> listen the if only you person actually, who can say listen well is kenny i love kenny's if listen. you stitch it on the model but you also suggest another fabric we already asked that question we, aaron i'm not asking the question i'm asking you we already asked that question you literally asked that question in like our first video and if like you, everybody responded and you responded to them. You don't remember that? You guys, no. it is so frustrating living with him. <laughs> oh my God. If he didn't design me patterns. Well, would you just leave me? I would leave him. Oh my gosh. That's all I have to do is stop designing patterns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your bunnies watch my Coke. Okay. So. <laughs> This is another, obviously, oh, hand dyed by Rolanda. This one's another, uh, <laughs> this is a 32 count Opal Lugana. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> you guys, uh, this yeah. girl's, uh, her skills are like crazy good. Yeah, they're very good. Uh, and I feel bad because poor Gina just like randomly posted, oh, this is from, you know, she stitched. I wish I could have her. It's incredible. I can't remember what she stitched it on, but I was like, oh my gosh, that fabric's amazing. And she's just like, yeah, it's hand-dyed fabrics by Rolanda. And I was like, so I feel bad. Dang, like, Rolanda. Now I literally choose every day or I pick every, I literally look every day to see if she's posted stuff. And I'm really sad because I only buy 18 by 27 pieces because for the most part, I like to stitch the bigger ones. Here, let's show a close-up of this one. Look at that one. Anyways, so um, she had this the most amazing fabric that was like a dark blue and a light blue that would be so beautiful for a mermaid. And I didn't buy it because it was a smaller piece. Anyway, somebody else bought it, which is good for them. I was like, so wishing that was a bigger fabric. Okay. Uh, here's another one. This one is a Opal Lugana again, a 32 count. So these are all ones that you've just recently acquired, huh? Uh-huh. I know why. We're Gosh. poor. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is really just greens and blue and white. Well, obviously the white's the, the fabric. Um, I told Aaron about this one. I was like, Aaron, I was actually thinking about Mirabilia's waiting for ships for this one. Um, I don't know if really the fabric would be great, but you know how she's like sitting here like this and she's like, is she looking? I don't know if she's looking up. I was thinking this would be perfect for a mermaid because this almost looks like light from the surface is coming down into the water. And I was like, oh, Aaron, um, I was like, wouldn't a mermaid be great in this? Because th doesn't that look like that? Looks it awesome. does to me where that, you know, whatever. 
whatever, Aaron. Anyway, Beautiful. so that's pretty greens and blues. Okay. I love that one. I have a thing for oranges also. It might be a little aggressive, but I like it. You think it's not though? I don't know, that white. It's I very light. Right. Look how light that fabric is. Yeah. It, <sighs> it, the camera kind of makes it a little more aggressive yeah. than it is too, actually. Yeah, and that's what I found on her website too, is uh, these, <clears throat> they're actually a little, little bit more subtle in person. Yeah. Like I will show you a for instance. For Ready? Instance. Here's a for instance. Let me go to my purchases, um, which I learned the first time and I was like, oh, great. Because, um, okay, I'll show you this one. What questions do we ask since you totally shut me down? I do shut you down. Okay, so like here's her uh, website photo, right? Isn't that amazing? This is the fabric. And so it's a lot less aggressive. So um, can you, so yeah, here's her photo. Very, kind of more aggressive that you can't uh, it almost looks the same <laughs> it almost looks the same just because of the the lighting so anyways there's this one um it's awesome though the colors are you really guys nice this coloring that. oh my gosh her stuff is so good yeah it's actually showing a lot darker it's it's more this lighter kind of peachy coloring that you see here for the most part so there's that one that i bought that one is a again a jobelin 28 count and then I have one more that very looks nice. very similar, but I can't stop buying this look of fabric. I actually have two more I bought from her that look almost near the same, but it's different enough. <laughs> this one's a 28 count jubilee. Dude, how also. about we ask if everybody else is a fabric hoarder such as your show? Yeah, they are, Erin. Okay, so That's here's that one. Ask. You guys, her stuff is fantastic. Uh, so don't check her out because I want to buy all of her fabric. So... Please don't check her out. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. So that's actually my stash acquisition this yeah. this week. The hoarding I, yeah, acquisition. The hoarding. I um, I've got to say, a, a couple of my friends have been stitching. Uh, Leslie and then I almost want to say Jules, maybe. Um, they've been stitching Mirabilia's uh, Lilith of Labrador, and. As you know, what cute, come you here, come here. Um, I have to stay, say that that was one of the Still ones that I was like, line. okay, I need it. I don't have to stitch it right now, but okay. oh my gosh. I, so I might, I probably have $200 worth of gift cards to 123stitch.com because my mom knows that anytime it's like Christmas or my birthday, she already knows just to get me a 123stitch gift card because they're actually just right up the street from us so I can do a pickup. And, um, so I actually, I really like, you know, you, I've got the urge, I've got the little bug right now where I'm like, Ooh, I want to start, I want to start a Mirabilia and it's, I, it. I want to start Lilith of Labrador. Do it. She's amazing. Um, okay. So there you go. There's my stash acquisition. Again, you will have every pattern of ours. If you give me your clay by Kim uh, uh, basket. Awesome. I want it so bad. I love clay by Kim. I want her stuff and I can't get it anymore. Why Kim? Uh, so not only she just got too popular. Did, did you get all that? You guys look at Evelyn's crafts. I look at the little bubbles bubbling down. It is so cute. Yeah. She is so cute. I wonder if my phone things. will show it better. So she acquired those. That's, that's your, all your, uh, Acquisitions. That's my acquisitions. This right. I did actually get one more thing, and I'm worried about it being the reason why I bought so much is because we sell on Etsy, and randomly Etsy contacted me and said because our offices are closed, we want to talk to Etsy sellers. If you will give us a three hour meeting time where we can talk to you and run ideas by you, we'll give you two hundred fifty dollar Etsy gift card. And I was like, uh, yeah, I blew it all in like an hour. Okay, so this chick, I haven't gotten it yet, and I'm really worried about it because what a shocker because <laughs> because it stalled. Uh, the board, like, mail is stalled because of the coronavirus. This is coming from Portugal, and I'm really worried that it's never going to show up. That's where she's at? Yeah, she's in Portugal. Um, and again, it's a necklace, but I was just going to turn it into a needle minder because that's what I do here. Um, I got to go get this dog. Are you kidding me with that? So it's a necklace. It's a mermaid, um, as you can see. But it's cool. It's very 3D. Are the kids not down here? I don't know. Yeah. Um, it's very 3D. So here's from the side. Look, it's so it's like a mermaid coming up out of the water. 
it is so cool so anyways that was pretty pricey that was like 30 or 40 dollars i'm t yeah it was 40 bucks um i'm actually very worried that it's going to be stalled or, or not get to me i know it's going to be stalled and she was very nice she's like i'm so sorry um i am she's like i'm in portugal can you just be very patient with the because of the coronavirus, you know, the post office isn't delivering as fast. I was like, of course, I know it's not your fault. But, you know, some people are like, where's my thing? And it's like, once you deliver it to the post office, kind of out of her hands, you know. And I was like, yeah, of course. I know it's not your fault. You did your job. So anyways, I bought that. But let's see if we can get, yeah, the 50s pinup girl. She is so freaking cute. Okay, so let's see if this is a better, uh, a better thing for at Miss Evelyn's Crafts. No, it's no better. Don't worry about Fine. it. Fine. Okay. Okay. So, next. what's next on the agenda, Cassandra? Should we show the model? Yeah. Okay. So, most of you guys, Erin says there were a couple trickles. Uh, the lighting is terrible. We should have gotten the ring light because it's... It's fine. Okay. Um, sorry, I hit you in the head. Mostly everybody wanted me to do Leslie's Enchanted, Enchanted Forest. And guys, I love this fabric. I actually was just looking at my stash and I have three pieces of Enchanted Forest. So I love this one. But in the end, I decided to go with the colors of the Outback Joey. That would have been a good one. It, yeah, that one really... Uh, Can't go wrong. As I was saying before, all, I think... All of the fabrics we chose would have been amazing. And I think this still would look amazing. Even when I started it, the, the mermaid. So I started this Enchanted Mermaid. Okay, so on our last video, it Wait, was only like finish. a week ago. I know, I'm setting it up. Okay, go ahead. Our last video was only a week ago, okay. my friends. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm like, what are you saying? Okay, so I was, okay, so I did it on this Joey. She's already like gotten she, this far oh my gosh you which guys, is, she's is, so awesome i mean look at how big it it's is it's not it's quite a bit if you're a cross stitcher though if you stitch a couple hours every day this is going to be I not it, I that guess serious. a couple hours every day but yeah i feel like it's a lot compared to what you Here's usually do i guess okay but i stitched in the past like once every six months so a normal stitcher this is how much they're going to get done all right Fine. so i love that you think i'm something special though but i'm not <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so um, this, as you can see, and I wish you could see the bling. And I think, too, this fabric, you don't pick up. I mean, you can see it's kind of lighter here. It almost has, like, this lime green. You can kind of see it there. Um, and it has a darker purple. So it looks very non-super hand-dyed. It looks almost one color. Which um, is great for me. Which is great for Erin. <laughs> but it's actually a lot more color than you actually see. That's a thing. Um, and that, I think that's why everybody's like, no, no, you got to do it on Leslie's. This has a lot more modeling that you're not yeah, modeling. It's not showing. Yeah. Like all camera. this green is a lot brighter. And then you see some purple here. There's a lot more purple than you actually see. It's perfect. On the camera. Because it's there, but it's subtle. Yeah, but it's subtle. Yeah. So like this. Okay. I have to tell you. So there's a couple things here I want to point out that I think are amazing. And I can say this because, um, Aaron's my husband. What are these? First of all, oh Kenny, Kenny actually tell me what those are because I've we until you got turned on to these we never even saw those. No, but I right? would use hair cloths. Yeah, but it's just to keep your extra fabric out of the way. So Kenny got these. They're I think they're quilt holder somethings. Kenny Kenny stitches. Um, he had these one time and he's like, yeah, buy, buy them on Amazon. And yeah, they just keep your fabric awesome. out of the way, your extra fabric from your cue snaps anyway, out of the sorry. way. Bring up what okay. you want to bring up. This Deep is what I want to bring tangent. up with her. First off, it was super awkward stitching her nipple. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, Linda. If I didn't put that in there, it would be a so swear. So awkward. Okay. You only so... have so much to work with. It was so awkward. I was like, the squares. I'm not looking at your nipple. I promise. I'm like, Ugh. okay. It's cold in the water. Apparently so. <laughs> okay. But this is what I want to say that I absolutely love. There's oh two things. Gosh. And I told Aaron and he's like, you're so dumb. Like he's so dumb. Okay. So first of all, what? I love her back hand. Uh, let me show it to you on the pattern. Her back hand. So I'm showing you 
the, I'm stitching the border right now. So that's what this blob is over here. The seaweed border. I always want to be in the know. Look at her hands. I'm over here trying to see. I love it because it makes her like creature like still because you know mermaids we all know they're real right <laughs> they are still like these underwater creatures so she's just like it makes her like you know she's like glaring up you know like at the surf i love that hand i love that right. hand it's just right. very creature like and right. i love that i love that design why did you do it like that what the hand yeah because i didn't want this one already has so her other hand doesn't have a whole lot of fingers going on it's kind of you know the fingers are together so i wanted to separate the other hand Nipple. to give it some interest so awkward. marley yes but that hand i love it so so it i mean listen it's, just it's so up to like. interpretation so if that's the way you uh, that's how I saw through. it. That's is that perfect. not how I was supposed to see it? You see it however I you just, want. Because, I mean, she's this beautiful mermaid, but she still is this underwater creature, you know? And it, just like that hand, it's just like, it's it's just like... It's difficult because you don't have a whole lot of area to work with, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah, so you can't put a whole lot of detail. Look like how I want is hard, so that's what we ended up with. I'm glad you like it. I love that hand. <laughs> it's so stupid. Just the little things. I love that hand. Dude, okay. perfect. And the other thing that I love is there's another reason honestly too okay actually. what is it to give it a little bit of interest i kind of said that but it's to make it a little bit more interesting than this one which is what i said before so it breaks up the uh, just having kind of two claws yeah essentially i love it okay the other thing which is adorable and guys this is all petite treasure bra braid so it is blinkety bling yeah um, treasure. it is tre yeah it's treasure and you know if you if you've seen the pattern it has all this gold down here is petite treasure braid so you have the the uh, treasure chest all right is that a treasure ch i can't Where? see oh there is no treasure chest see. it's not a chest it's like a it's like a this one it's is like a crown there. that's like a kind of a plate i was thinking there was a treasure chest down there from old like look. you know back in the roman days or something i don't know no i know that but i thought it was a treasure chest no. filled okay that would be i cool. was wrong i know Man, i should have done that you suck dude but i have to say <laughs> i really did love leslie's fabric and i told oh, Aaron, gosh. i said what's the likelihood i can get a series out of you for the from this and so I was like, maybe you have the same type of silhouette anymore, idea with like a mom and a little girl mermaid. And they're chilling with their treasures with their treasure chest on the bottom. Same, like same it. type of thing. The little seashell, uh, you know, corner pattern. I, but yeah, I did ask him. I was like, and maybe like a dude, maybe a dude. Uh, a merman. Let's do merman. I got a bunch of questions. Oh, oh, Listen. we never asked the question for the giveaway. What, what do they have to do? What about? Here we go. Here's a question. Know. You do it. Here's what you have to answer. Sure now, if you are the winner, how do they contact us? They you comment, can't. but they can't post their, their, you can't send messages on YouTube. What you're going to have to do. Okay, here we go. To get uh, the little hand dyed by Rolanda, and they're really amazing. I don't want to under underscore underestimate well, I can tell you what we can do. to tell you how pretty these are. They're adorable. Um, they're pretty. I don't love it, but anyway, she gave this to me for a, a YouTube giveaway, so or a floss tube video. So I I wanted to say that that was super nice of her. So uh, so what you have to do is in the comments, you're gonna have to answer this question. If we were to do this mermaid look into a series, what other images would you like to see? That's a good one, I right? I think that question sucks. Sandra. You are so lame. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love it. Here's what, here's what, here's how you're supposed to react. I love that. What a great idea. Let's make out. <laughs> Um, okay, so I, like I said, I thought it would be cute to have a, a mermaid and oh, her a little mermaid girl, a, her little daughter. Um, can I can I ask? ask wait, I let me finish. I need to and then I think it would be awesome to have maybe a, a cute little mermaid and merman couple. Merman. It's okay. from Zoolander. We say it all the time. I thought that would be another idea. Great idea for this series. Um, that could be never ending, really, if you guys want to give us the ideas. So what we'll do is we'll give it how long? A week? We'll give it about a week yeah. for people to watch this video Whatever. and to be able to comment. And um, if you do win, we will we will comment. Okay, 
You're the winner, and we're just gonna what? We'll just randomly do like we can do the random random uh, name random dot right org or something. You can pick the winner in the next video if you want to do it that way. Oh, that so much long? work. It's not. Um. Anyways, whatever. If work. you win, we'll comment that you won in the comments. We'll say we'll reply, yay, you won. Contact it's not us. gonna be like a oh he has the best idea. We'll we'll choose it. No, no. Um. We will random. just do you know we'll just it'll be random. We'll contact you. We'll to let you know to contact. We'll us. contact, contact us. you. Yes, and say message us on our business page your address so that we can get these sent to you yeah so anyway there you go um so that's where she's at okay but i never finished i never finished the other part that i love about this guys and remember this gold is super oh blingity because it's petite treasure braid that what? i love the fact that she has a little necklace Ow. wrapped around the bottom of her tail it is so cute i would never think ever because i'm not, not creative at all like no. obviously she has it around her wrist and she has it around her hips and she has a necklace on but this cute little blingity bling mermaid that does not know how jewelry works wrapped it around the bottom of her tail i think that is so cute Word. that's adorable because you know like she might get a, a dingle hopper and not know how a fork yeah. works because mermaids don't know how a, you know our stuff works you guys, is that not the cutest thing? She has it wrapped around the bottom of her tail. I think that is the cutest. Erin, I applaud you. <laughs> Sometimes you have Finally. great ideas. You're Finally. very creative. You know I'm like your biggest fan. And you just have I, to try to... I don't. You try to build me up and then break me down. No. That's all it is. I love the fact that you put that in there. I think that's so clever of you. Just to give it a little... Well, I actually did have that in mind. Really? Like she just wrapped it around her tail because she's a mermaid. You don't know what it, she doesn't yeah, know what it she is. She doesn't know what it is. But it's also to balance out create a little bit of interest. Yes, there's actually multiple reasons, but uh, it's so when you're stitching these, it's just a solid color. So just to kind of break up from going to the tail all the way up, I threw that in there. So you kind of do this section and then get a little bit of interest. So you you finish that and then you're like, oh yeah, that looks awesome. You know, and with these silhouette things, like getting to each, like doing the fish, adding those, that, yeah. those little oh, yeah. fishes in there. Oh, yeah, I was going to bring that up, too. It's just, you get to this section, you add those in there, and then you're like, ah, that's awesome. And then it kind of pushes you to the next. So you're constantly uh, finding something interesting to in the next kind of section that you yeah. get to. And it makes it fun, and it, you don't get bored like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, and that's what I was actually going to say so is was, stitching this, weird. I could not put it down. Um, because it was fun. Like I had first started with one of these green things. I always start in the middle of the little green seaweed. And then I was like, oh, I'm almost to her tail. And then I get to her tail and I was like, oh, I'm almost, I, I want to do the fish. And then I got to some of the fish and then I was like, oh, I'm almost to the green. Oh, I'm almost to the nipple. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was always Listen, fun. Man, can so, I defend myself? No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. So time. it was really fun. It, I'm excited to get to the next part. Um, <laughs> and I, I'm excited about that because I'm like, oh, 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 I'm almost to the border where I get to put this other blue in here. Or, oh, I'm almost to the seashell. And then, oh, I'm almost going to get to the boat. Like, it to me is it really gets me to the point where I don't want to you stop let me stitching this. I don't want to stop stitching it. Uh, in fact, I would love to leave this video right now and go stitch. So <laughs> can I? Listen. Just kidding. Linda. Listen. No one says it like Kenny. You don't have like a whole lot of space to is do there, it. Unless I give her this just gigantic. Grab the one without the, why do we, even, why are we even right there on top? Why are we even showing that? Right. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. That's not it? No. Liar. Listen, oh, you're right. You don't have, listen. I keep saying listen now, you don't have a whole lot of space to deal with. So if I wouldn't have added the, that little extra nipple in there, which it's not a nipple, it would just have been a square it's not shape a nipple. and it would, you would have been like, what is it? Why then? does she have a square boob? No, I know. That's she's, what you would have been saying. She's naked. She needs a nipple. Obviously, I'm just giving you Plus, a hard time. Who doesn't love nipples? Man? Also, you're a pervert. Yeah. Okay, but anyways, again, you guys, remember how he's talking to you about how awesome this, uh, how awesome this, he always does this continuity depending on the pattern. Look, the little seashells. Look, the little seashells. Oh, look, you have all the seaweed. Look at all of the little, uh, look at the, look at the swirl of the top of the water. Look at the fit. Like, I just figured it out. It's underwater. Look, you can see this, the, the surface. This is what the water's going to look like from the bottom. Arian, I just noticed that. You barely noticed that? That is really cool. That, honestly, that's why I do it. 
because you don't really notice that and then eventually you're like you notice what that's awesome so yes it's underwater obviously look well i know it's underwater but i never noticed the swirl like you're looking at it from the surface and that's the reflections on the surface what the freak you're so amazing you stop. You know, I like think you're such a jerk, like most of the time. That's the only reason I do this, so I can get stuff you like that out. I get back in your like... good graces. You're almost well. You... <laughs> so <laughs> that's that. So that's where no. she's at on okay, the Curious sorry. Mermaid. That's she's cruising so cool. along. Do you think she's moved fast? Because I feel like you're like. Yeah, I'm just listen. typical. Oh, gosh dang, I keep saying no. If you're not stitching like three or four hours a day, that's a lot. Like, yeah, if you're stitching three or four hours a day, Aaron, obviously you're, you're going to get there. you're just used to me taking two hours to finish one of your models. Two days, I meant. Two two years, I mean. Two, two years. years. Two okay. years. That's so how long that. the spring one so, took me. It was like two years. She's working on that. We also, so we do, I think we showed the monthly designs. Yes. Uh, so we do a monthly. I started it last year, but I only got the first two months. Which he will. It got crazy. They're only available in PDFs right now. Yeah. We will put them into leaflets. I want these ones to I get to stitched say. before I put them in leaflets. Yeah. So for now, they're just uh Because they're, they're so PDFs. small, we could but easily do it. I finished. April is finished. I'm working on the booklet now. Probably by the time this video is, is out, it'll be done. Mm -hmm. But, so, this is April. I want to show it's you this. It's so cute! But, so, I, I, if you're in our uh, Facebook group, I always ask the group... Uh, like I give if him a couple not, of different join. ideas. You can pipe in so, to what he will ultimately I, release. So I showed this to the group and kind of gave them an option of, hey, like which one do you like best kind of thing, A, B, C, or D. <laughs> and then I, I honestly, I do take their opinion <laughs> it does. to, you know, to when I'm finishing the pattern. Marley. And I no. also have to, have to listen to, <laughs> stop her, she's going to keep barking. Marley. Stop her. She's going uh, <clears> to, <throat> I also have to listen to Cassandra. <laughs> And so she gave me her Marley. opinions, and I uh, went with what everybody else said in the group. And this is kind of an amalgamation right. of them all. Yes. So this is going to be April. Although which, I told him I hate the swirl, but whatever. No, I took the other one out. I had another one in there to make her look like a like a grandma cloud or like a mom cloud. I hated it. Anyway, so that's April. So that's coming out. <laughs> that's coming I, out yeah, soon. he had to. He had that bunny different. Marley. I was like, no. I like this shape of head. Show me the original head, though. All right. He still didn't listen all the way, but he listened to the point okay. where, no, it's none of those ones. I don't have it on She was head. smaller. Oh, yeah. The uh, smallest. The smallest little anymore. head. I don't have it anymore. Oh, you deleted oh, I do. it? Yeah. I'll show you the bunny I liked and the one he ultimately went with. So that one's going to be out. I'm so it's, mad at you. I am constantly with these. I said I was going to finish these this year. So yep. regardless if April's in a couple days... I have to finish them. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm not going to be like, well, I'm too far behind. Forget it. So. Nope. Still I know, not her. I know. Can you just. No. Look at the. You're looking at me. Look at the camera, my love. Okay. <laughs> I still am looking over here, though. <sighs> Follow my eyes. Okay. What else? Okay. So we actually, I, we have a couple of different fabrics. We also want you to pipe in on what you think fabric should have. So. There you go. Okay. This was my. Sorry. So this is uh this is procreate. I wanted but I wanted this little tiny bunny face. That's his original. See how cute? So he totally did totally different. Like he had the eye, he really wanted the eye. I really wanted that the, to happen. And I told him I hated it. I was like, I I, I don't hate think that. a lot of people liked it. So I took it out. But yeah. I thought it was genius. <laughs> I loved how this little teeny tiny, her little teeny tiny, very delicate little bunny. I love her little circular Whoa. face here. Ah what I do? So show Marley. Marley. Here. Dude, no one cares. Here. Nobody cares. I care. It's a dude. I just did something. So which one did you choose in the end? So show him in the end. So anyways, he still didn't <laughs> listen to me. Place. And I'm really sad because I really liked, um, I really Whoa. liked Marley. Come here. Oh. Get over here. Ooh. No. So Ooh. he made her bigger and he gave her this oval face. So and I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little slightly. It's a middle ground. Sad. It's a middle ground. Like, people can't hear you stomping <laughs> on the ground and feel the table shake. Come here. So that's what we ended up with. So Good what one. I wanted Stop to kind of say, look at this yeah. little dark. She's got the little dog syndrome. She thinks she wants to kill the world. 
So that's that one. What I Stop wanted hard. to say is the original no. intent with these is was to create just a kind of simple design that you can stitch pretty quick that you can add to your uh, your decor. Yeah. You know, and and not spend a ton of time on it, which we're going off the rails. Like that is a lot of a lot Stop. of detail. I'll show you. The, the, uh, so I wanted to show you January. This is where we started with is January. Oh my gosh, if I can find it. No. Postcard. There we go. January. I wonder what I ordered. Mr. UPS man came. That's why she's mad. So yeah. this is what I started with. This is this is January's. And mm. it's just kind of you just got the bird to create to make it interesting, you know, something fun to I stitch with one. the with the branches. And it's one. easy. It's an easy, well, I don't, it's not necessarily easy, but it doesn't take a hundred years. Mm -hmm. And now February was good. March, we started getting a little off the rails, a little more detail. <laughs> you can't help yourself. It's really Which, hard for him to simplify uh, because he- you Guys, I have yeah, the hardest time. It's so hard for him to simplify. So this, oh, dang it. Why would I not? I have no clue. Anyway, March, so this is March not on the, fabric so march ended up being we're going a little off the rails it's a little bit more detail and then april full-blown scene i can't full help myself blown, can't i can't help myself background yeah, yeah, foreground like, middle ground to... is that what would it be in the middle middle ground yeah so like like it just progressively but like he actually is myself. now doing texture where he just has those other stitches right oh there. yeah I started adding the kind of, so the idea was because it's raining, you can get a little bit of the fade. Right here. It looks like it's faded into the background mm -hmm. with the bushes. So and like even does it up here in this cloud. Yeah, so that right cloud's here. kind of off in the distance. I'm very curious to see how that translates and how that turns out. Also, I want to put in, uh, put this, he worked very hard on this to get movement. Is it okay that I mentioned this or were you getting there? He's tried really hard to get what? movement in... This yeah. little, I can't see because this little guy right here in the bird bath. So you oh, can yes. see he doesn't have two sets of wings. He has one set of wings, but he's flapping in the water. That's why you see all the water, all those little single white cross stitches. Yeah. Um, he's in the bird bath. And I actually, I gave him the idea for the bird bath. He's like, she how did. do you like this? I was like, you should have a bird bath in there. Yeah. That'd be really cute. Because he's like, something needs to happen over here. And what did you draw initially? Well, the I fence? No, I originally had like a big Easter basket. It was going towards oh, yeah. Easter, but sometimes Easter's in April, so it didn't really yeah. work. I didn't want it to be it may, related to May. E you meant sometimes Easter's in May. No, it's in March. Oh, sometimes. March. Sorry, you said April. Oh, sorry. Sometimes it's in March, not always in April. So I didn't want it to be like, well, I can't put up this year because it's in March. So yeah. I just kind of went with the bunny and the chicks to kind of, that's yes. what everybody was kind of suggesting that too in the group when I asked them kind of what they thought of, of April. But, so yeah, he made it so less he, about Easter. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, you need a bird bath. Because he had, I think, back here a fence also. At one point, he had a fence back there. I was like, yeah, you should do a bird bath. So he has this bird in there. But he has this he's one. He's little playing in the water. Yeah, he's playing in the water. So you can see those are, yes, his wings moving. But with the little dashes in there. Because he's like, what, how should I do that? Well, I was I like, well, do little dashes. Like, he's like flapping. Well, that's what, so I that's was what he's doing. doing. He's flapping in the water. And the water's spraying up. You know, well, that's those what little... I had. Yeah. So this is what his... It'll, it'll show you... Wait. Yeah, so see, he did one without the wings. And then... Um, yeah, you can see how cute that is. His little just flapping doing, wings in there. Doing some different versions of yeah, it. Yeah, different versions of it. You can see his cute little wings in there flapping. So I was like, yeah, just do what you did. Like, do little dashes. I'm like, I think it'll it'll get the... So in the end, we ended up going with, like, the two wings to kind of create that animation look. Like, yeah, look. so it's, yeah, so you can Hopefully see. Hopefully that comes across. I think it's that adorable. I think it looks bring good. in my comic book illustration side. Oh, oh. that's pretty exciting. So, so that's April. That's coming out. Yes. It should be out. By the time this video and again only pdf launches. it's on our etsy page yeah so i'll put the link down below if, when it's out aaron did ask us uh which which fabric so we're oh. going to show you a couple fabric yes. types he has it showed again in the background as we show these can you hold it up in the this background fabric? 
or this? No, that. Oh. Oh, yeah. So we have a couple different um, options. So we're actually doing the floss toss today. Yes, we're doing the, the floss toss done, today. I want to make sure the colors are working. So he so. was like, I, I don't want a nice spring blue. I want it to almost look like clouds. And the first thing that I thought of was pull stitches hurricane. If it, is I, too, it's too aggressive for if this If you're time. still here watching this video, you this is straight up behind the scenes. Oh, how we create our pattern stuff. Oh, I love this stuff. This oh, is what snaps. I like to talk about. So we're... We're getting busy. <laughs> okay, so I we initially said pull stitch is hurricane, but I think it's too aggressive with all the grays in there. Um, so then we were looking, I was like, okay, but what about something like, so this is actually Leslie, um, Leslie Under the Sea Fabrics. This is Mermaid Seas. I wanted a fabric that wasn't too dreary, yeah. but came across like it was... A stormy, yeah, stormy. A he wanted skies. it happy, but stormy. So this is actually a pink, let's see. Or pink. Oh my gosh. This isn't, is this is like a mermaid fabric, like an under fabric. But to me, this looks like a dark cloudy sky with your patches of bright sunny sky behind it. So I think that one would actually be really cool. And I think that purple would be great. This is a purple. Oh my gosh. What? These dogs, man. We are like have a over. dog party all a around dog party every time. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So that's Leslie's or Under the Sea Fabrics Mermaid no. Mermaid Lugana. Mermaid Seas Lugana. Um, but then I was like, the fabric I was actually thinking about, and I was thinking it was Hurricane. This is another uh, mermaid fabric. This is a pull stitches. This one is Stormy Seas. So this one, this brings a little more of a different element to obviously, it. Obviously, let us know what you guys think. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously you know? that's why I'm showing it. But for them to pipe this in, one, I felt like it was too bright. But the more I look at it, I kind of like right. It. Those dark patches are the dark uh, stormy it's skies. Not that. It's just that that kind of aqua like dark mint. Yeah. But like, see. This could be, this is a great mermaid fabric. And I see mermaids, like Mirabilia mermaids on this all yeah, the time. Yeah, but that works for water. Yeah, but it also works for a sky. It can if, work. If you want it's it to be, because like, look, look the like yellow it. is sunshine and that yeah. darker the clouds and that bright blue is like the, you know, the actual sky. So I think that one's actually a really cool fabric. I probably have like 10 pieces of this. This is, so that's Stormy Seas. This one's a kill. Lugana. Half this video is Marley growling. I'm going to kill By it. pull stitches. Okay. But then, it, so Aaron was married to the fact that it should be a blue. Our dogs are awesome. Okay, Aaron was married <laughs> to the fact that it should be a blue. And I was like, wait a minute. I was like, a lot of times the stormy sky, you don't see any blue. It's just darker. So I was like, what if we did a hand dyed? So this is a hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie. This is actually, and I, I have this... The fact that it's a Joblin, the other fabrics don't dye this way, but this is more of like a muddy fabric. You don't see a lot of the colors popping, but together, together. Sorry, every now and then you get a little bit of color. All right, sorry, we had to do a little cut scene. Uh, anyway, so this one though, I like this one how it has a little bit of color, but for the most part, just because it is that Job Joblin, it, it, the colors blend more together and create really, I think this one of all of them is actually my favorite because it is, this really, really like does. I really like that one. That one has a lot of spring yeah. colors in it, which yeah. is really nice. But again, you only have little pops here. That Does that not look like a cloudy sky? Yeah. I love that really one. Good. So yeah, I, but again, it, it it's, works only on this Jovelin, uh, because you know, if you got, if you got the same fabric in like a linen, it's going to look way different, but yeah, I, I really the like effect one. of, all the muddying together of the colors is fantastic. Okay. We also... This one's kind of the same, isn't This it? one is kind of the same. This one's um, Brigid. Brigid, I think. Uh, this is also by Stephanie. But this one's that kind one's of the same. Cool yeah, this one's kind of the same. That one's a little more aggressive than the because last Because it is a linen and the colors uh, display, you know, darker on it. I still like the other one. I think it's softer. I love to stitch on linen. Linen's my favorite to stitch on. But um, I like, I mean, if if you even just feel the difference. Yeah, I know. The, you know, the, the yeah. Joblin's way softer than the linen is to stitch. And I yeah. think that translates also into the overall look of it. Because this has more of a rough look on the fabric. Mm -hmm. But this one, it creates a softer look of the fabric, which kind of goes along with what you're looking at. Yeah. And then the other one that Aaron did. So what, do you want to talk about that one? No. So this is actually what I'm doing kind of the... 
she showed me this one originally. I'm just gonna have to. Bunch yeah, because he told me initially he wanted a blue background, but he said I want it to be clear that it's a stormy sky that we have clouds here. So this is the one I first had pulled out. I, I think this one's a little bit aggressive. Personally, so I really it's like. It's showing up a little bit more aggressive on the yeah. camera, but this one has like a gray sky kind of feel with the clouds. It's a lot really of blue in here. There's a lot of blue. Yeah, it's but, a lot softer um, in person. So yeah, so this one, the colors are amazing on this one. But yeah, as you can see, like it's a lot different than one I originally yeah, sketched out. It's but very, yeah, it's aggressive. So this, and so these, these are the colors. Here, hold it up. So this one's actually. Let me tell you what this here's fabric the, is. Here's all the This one's a, a silk weaver tropical storm, and this one is a linen opalescent fabric. So you get with with this and not the other ones. Uh, you have the opalescent, which almost can look like a, 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 a uh, rain, yeah. like catching the light, which so, that would be cool. See, you can see the blue in here. This is the thing. It's Pull those colors again and sp spread them out. All right. I think this fabric's, like I said, it's a lot less aggressive in real life. That is really coming up dark. So. But see, I. There's lots of, there's purples that are getting hidden, the pinks in there, the greens, a little bit of the blue. a lot of floss. Well, these aren't, these are a little, I got a few different in the same colors. Oh, because he's, okay, but look at it on the one I like that we kind of both like. So, but here's the Steph's thing. Kaleid Did I ever say what this one was? That's what I was going to say. This is Stephanie's Kaleidoscope. The one that we both really like is uh, Stephanie's Kaleidoscope. Like, I was originally intending, so this is not all the floss. This is a yeah. bunch of colors of the same, just so I can get different yeah, shades. He's, yeah, he's still picking the final <laughs> floss colors. So, um, I like this that's fabric. not really showing up well, but... I that know. one looks really good too, though. But that's what I'm saying. With the first one, I'm like, oh yeah, just a, just a few colors makes yeah. it simple. This one is like 20 colors. Sorry, not sorry. I know, and not a ton, <laughs> not a ton of stitching. So you're gonna have a lot of floss left. But, but I always bad. It's gonna look colors. amazing. I'm more about the finished product looking amazing than yeah. worrying about. I mean, you could you really use the floss for something else. Am it I right? Really is cute, Aaron. I love this one. I do I love, love you though. I really <laughs> love this little bird splashing in the bump, in the bird bath. Yeah. He's so that's so that. Cute. So we're working on that today. Yes. And I think And I'm going to be stitching today. You are going to be stitching some more today. I can't stop. So, but we hope that you are staying safe. Yeah. Staying sane. Yeah. You see, our kids were coming in and out. The dogs are coming in and out. It's crazy. Up it's in crazy here. up in here. So we're trying. I to don't mind it. I'm kind of an introvert. I'm having a great time. No, I'm, dude, this is like amazing to me. I draw all day. So I mean, yeah, I'm, we're already kind we're of having a, a great time. But the fact that the kids are here, and we're stuck inside. Yeah, but it adds it more chaos bit. when we have to go pick them up from school. And I, I don't know. I like not worrying about any of that. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I'm fine with it. So. You're amazing. We hope you are staying sane, unlike us. And safe. It's crazy town, as sane you can tell. Sane and safe. What was the question one more time for him? For what? For the... for the. So two questions, but one you have to answer for the giveaway. Yeah. Um, the first... So the question is, is which of those fabrics do you like? Our preference is, like we said, Stephanie's Kaleidoscope. Although I'm telling you... Leslie's, this would be really pretty too. That's good. Her too. Mermaid Sea. Yeah. What do you guys think about all this? I'd be like, really pretty too. Which one would you like? And to this actually to? has more of a blue coloring. That darker color is a is a turquoise or it is a purple. This is very blue and purple. If you've seen this in real life. And if the, if the it could totally if be this, a scotch. If this fabric is or if this pattern is done, you can go to the link and go mm -hmm. see which one we actually. Suggesting yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So to this see if we got week, it correct. We are releasing the Santa on PDF in yeah. our in our Etsy store, mm -hmm. and then we're going to be releasing that April, just in the next couple days, yeah. or it's already up, depending on how long it takes yeah. Aaron to edit this video. Which, yeah. you know, I have a billion things. Okay, so there's that question to ask, but then the second question to ask or answer is this, and this is for for the, the win, for the giveaway. big win, winner, winner, chicken dinner from again hand dyed by Rolanda. Again, you can find her on Etsy. Um, the question is this. 
Oh, I remember. I was like, what was the question? <laughs> uh, this awesome mermaid, uh, this mermaid kind of silhouette pattern that I'm working on right now. If we were to make it into a series, which I'm really trying to get Aaron to do. I will. But again, he pushes me. He says that on camera, as soon as I end this, he's going to be like, why did you do that? No, I'm not making a series. I don't mind. I love it. He, it's you awesome. act so nice on camera. <laughs> He is. He's a nice dude. Um, <laughs> but anyways, if you did, if we did do this into a series of sorts, what other scenes would you personally want? Now, I mean, it can even be not even necessarily mermaids, though I'm sure you would need mermaids to complete a theme. You'd kind of want a theme. Like, you wouldn't necessarily want... There's all sorts of ideas we can do. We can do, like, sea, like, uh, sea creatures with the mermaids, which like would be what? cool. I don't know, like a, some sort of under, under, underwater, I don't know. Well, yeah, but I have no idea. the main like focus a, like would most, be a mermaid. Yeah, but then there's like... That's what I'm like, saying. You can so, go dark with it and create like a darker tone. Like, like a, like a, whatever. Anyway. Okay, so anyways, uh, like what I, so what I was saying, you can't take my two ideas. So the one with a man and a, a merman, uh, the merman and the, the mermaid together. Um, Did I get my question? Whatever. Would you even like to stitch our merman? Yes. Do you know how many people want merman? Would you? No, but stitch I'm not merman. saying just I'm a merman. Really no, I know. But there are the Together. male stitchers. Maybe some of the male stitchers are like, when are we going to get represented? Oh, like, I'm here for you. Yeah. You like, dudes. when are we going to be represented up in here? Let me know. Because in the there's always a bunch of mermaids, you. but never like a merman. Dude, so, I'll create a hunk. Of a merman. A uh, hunk of... <laughs> yes, please. Um, so, yeah. I'll... Yeah. We'll do a merman with big old nipples, too. <laughs> Men have nipples, too. Um, but, yeah. Like, we could do... So, my ideas, again, were the the mermaid and the merman together. Making yeah. sweet, sweet the love question? or something. Um, and then the other... I've answered, like, ten times. No, you just don't listen to me. I don't. Um, and then the other one is... Uh, the other idea I had was um, oh a, a mom and a daughter mermaid. Again, in this same type of scene. Not obviously the same scene. There's not always going to be a boat up in here with an anchor coming down. But what other scenes would you boat. like to see? Yeah, what interests you? What other scenes, if we made this into series, do you want to see? There, I said it for the third time. Are you going to listen that time and... Or are you going to ask me, what was the question? And then the winner. Winner, we'll winner, chicken this, dinner this, in like a week time. The sweet, the, the sweet floss. Okay? We'll send you the floss. How's and that? if you do win, we will comment and say, hey, message our business page on Facebook or one of us on Facebook and we'll get them sent to you. So. We would and love thank you to, to you. Hand Dyed uh, Fabrics by Rolanda. Again, she sells a lot of the the floss as well yeah, that's hand awesome floss. thanks for sending it to us so we can give nice it away you. and please uh hand dye threads by rwanda please make more amazing <laughs> fabrics for me to buy tis time again my friend i think your last update was like two days ago you time guys to dye more fabric. are amazing we appreciate you thanks for hanging out we do appreciate this a little you guys long, but if you're still here p.s you're amazing do you know what the what the ups man brought us some tp <laughs> Because you already know that everybody's buying out the TP. I finally scored some online <clears throat> on samsclub.com. Uh, so we got some TP up in this house. Now, for real, we're all set. We're set. We're set. You guys freaking. Oh, she's so cute. Have a fantastic week. Okay. Stay classy, San Diego. Oh, my gosh. I'm done.